Yeah, um, time for another uh, video comment. Uh, apparently, uh, I got a few comments on uh, the Time with uh, uh, Megan video about the prom. And so this is going to be a response to some of the comments there. And I guess in, invariably, uh, this is how happens every so often on the internet that you can sort of see uh, haters pop up on uh, the comments and uh, leave uh, rather negative comments. And what happens is that, uh, 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 that uh, they get a number of negative votes, and as the negative votes increase, uh, at a certain point in time, it's flagged as spam and hidden from view. This is what I like to term YouTube censorship and something that I, that I seriously oppose. So what I did is uh, I didn't change anything on, on, on the thing. All I did is say that that, that, that that comment wasn't spam. So I'd like to comment to Mark Merkel make a comment to his comment about uh, time with Megan about person Megan um, and now there I wouldn't follow his background his issue with her and apparently he's part of the controversy that popped up last year around February uh, around these so-called reply girls and I kind of watched this as a youtuber I watched it go on with a, a bit of <laughs> humorous uh, interest because um, it wasn't they were fighting over an issue and it wasn't it wasn't really a, it wasn't a fair fight it was basically a group of gamers who were very popular were upset that these group of girls were taking attention away from their videos and of course it was some of the money from the clicks uh, and they got upset about it. they got jealous and they began attacking the girls and you can sort of see this if you go and follow what's going on, and you read read this sort of this whole report that says from this this uh, uh, internet rag called Daily Daily, uh, Daily Dot or something like, something like that. Uh, it's um, this this rag which appears which has a claim that it's it's unbiased reporting is actually heavily biased. You sit there and you read through it, and you have any degree of um, uh, of a research background, you can easily pick out that this 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 uh, rag isn't what it claims to be, and what they're doing is simply hobbling together a story without necessarily checking their facts and presenting something out there. You know, just to, to sort of present it, uh, <laughs> appearing to be news when they're not really news. Uh, I mean, all you have to do is look at their story on these reply girls, and you'll you'll, have, you'll kind of figure out that uh, uh, Megan from time with Megan was actually being attacked. So a lot of her her reactions to things were uh, understandable. Not, not necessarily agree with them, but they're understandable. If you're going, if you're being attacked, in many cases, you're simply going to respond back, you know, back to that. So I don't have a problem with what Megan did because she was being attacked, and you can see that Yaw's cast was attacked. And all you have to do is, and, and any girl YouTuber knows this. You go on to the, the, to a girl YouTuber, and you'll find the invariable comment, slut, whore. A bitch, twat, or anything along those lines, and, and, and they're always there. This is always, in, and if you go follow Mark Merkel's comments, you go follow this whole issue uh, about this whole thing about around surrounding these reply girls. All the comments aimed at these girls, this, including Megan, who is not necessarily uh, one of these worst offenders of, of the reply girls. I mean, in terms of her sexual con con content. Uh, she is significantly less than uh, Shane Dawson. Significantly less. She's nowhere near, in terms of the sexual content, what Shane Dawson is. And I think I, I like her comments. I, I, I like hanging out, you know, going by a channel and hanging out for a bit. But apparently these guys, or these people at Eurox cast, uh, had some particular problem, and they uh, initiated a group from the group of their popular fans to go and attack her. And, all, of course, all these other girls. And of course, you 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 can. And I saw the I saw the comments. I saw the comments. Bitch, cunt, whore. And you go back to Happy Cabby. Happy Cabby dedicated his entire channel to taking her down. And his comments are nothing more than I don't like her. Bitch, cunt, bitch, whore, twat, cunt. And, and that's all it is. There is no, there is no intelligible argument. There's no. Say, oh, the, the, what she actually did wrong. It's all, I don't like her in using very strong, very negative uh, uh, language. Uh, and that's all it is. The, the, the argument is the, is, is the strong language itself. 
And so there really isn't an argument saying, oh, she had did, did you know, in, in specifically spelling out what she did wrong and, and showing that in, there was any, um, that there was uh, any substance to their to their accusations against her. There is, I haven't seen any substance against, uh, on the accusations against her. I've seen a lot of these accusations, accusations against her. And I haven't seen any substance to it. Nothing up there. You go and follow up and you research, you, you dig behind to see uh, who these Yogcast characters are, right? And you'll see them all over. He's attacking people. You go up that happy cabbie. Not only was he attacking Megan, but you see him attacking a whole bunch of other people. He's got a whole bunch of attacks on his channel. On his channel, of he's ta going out and attacking other people. This guy, Mark Merkel, has the same thing, and these are the characteristics of a hater. So, but the thing is, you know what? Haters have a right to exist on YouTube. You know, everyone has a right to their opinion, whether you like the opinion or not. I don't agree with Mark Merkel. I don't agree with uh, Happy Cabby in terms of of their of what they've been doing, but they have a right to say it. So I I, I uh, Mark that is not spam. Uh, and I, said, I have no problem with Megan, it, whatever her name is, being Megan on YouTube. I'm Cyborg Alpha on YouTube. I don't use my personal name because I'm creating a cyborg called uh, Cyborg Alpha, and that's who I'm online as. You know, if she, it, it, I don't, so it doesn't matter to me what her real name is. If at some point in time she wants to tell me what her real name is, fine, no problem. But if she doesn't want to tell me what her real name is, she just we want to hang out as. Uh, uh, Megan and, and, and Cyborg Alpha, no problem. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with uh, view bots because I don't use view bots or, or whatever popular to, to guide my uh, 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 interest in YouTube. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not a popular. I don't follow trends. I know a lot of people are, but uh, I don't. So I don't have an issue with a lot of the issues that people seem to say are problems with Megan so maybe this is a, a video in defense of Megan but I haven't seen that she's done anything wrong so unless you can point out to me what she's actually done wrong I'm gonna continue to like Megan I'm gonna continue to watch her videos and from what I see right now it's Yogg's cast and these other people on YouTube they're the ones who are the haters they're the ones who are the cyber bullies and if you want to be like that fine uh, <laughs> it, you know, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to ch change your mind or anything like that. But it's a horrible way to live. Anyways, that's about it. That's my two cents on this. And um, see you on YouTube.